I'm gonna retie my jerk bait leader. Super strong figure eight knot right there, locks up beautifully. And then my crazy Alberto knot that connects my braid to my mono. Just caught a huge pike and there was a little abrasion on the line. So we keep a whole bunch. This is 130 pound mono. We keep a whole bunch in a little box with us at all times. So if you get an abrasion, it's, it's really easy. But I actually use a knot to attach my mono to my, uh, my ring here. If you wanna use a snap, feel free. I use these rings with a little spl split ring. But I'm gonna show you, this is called a figure eight knot. It's super easy to tie and it's just as strong as any crimps. Most people don't tie thick fluoro and mono because their knots are always bulky and they can never get them to cinch down, but this is the solution. Basically, you throw it, like put it through the, your ring, pull off about seven inches or so, and then go around your thumb once and then pinch. And then go around your thumb again towards the end of your thumb like once. So there's two. Now I just like to pull it off and then you go, you take this tag and you go in the back of both loops. In the back of both loops, there you go. So this is an important part right here. Don't let go, flip the back loop under the front loop and there's where it gets its knot or its name rather, figure eight. And just wet it a little bit, wet it slightly and then all you have to do is just pull down and then this knot will form perfectly right there. So as you can see, created a little X and then a little equal sign. If you have the X and equal sign, you've tied it perfectly. This is super strong, just as strong as any crimp. And then you can clip it right here. The other thing too is we're using such thick leader line. The only reason we're using such strong line is so they can't bite through it. So even if this is only a 70% knot strength, that's still stronger than your 80 pound main line. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to tie this onto the line. I don't actually use a swivel in this case in the jerk baits. So what I'll do is I'll pull off about nine inches and then make a bend. So however long you want your leader is where you make the bend. I'm gonna make the bend right here because I like my leader about eight, nine inches long. So right there I made the bend, that's how long my leader's gonna be. I take my braid and this is where you gotta be careful. Really easy knot, but you just need to remember when you come up, you need to remember which way you went in. So I came up and now I'm gonna wrap down the line five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you take it and you wrap in each groove five times back. So there's two, three, four, five. And now when we started the knot, we came up with the braid. So now we're gonna go down with the braid because what you wanna keep in mind is that both these lines are going up in the same direction. They're not crossing at that intersection there. They're both headed in the same direction. So wet it a little bit and then you can pull it tight. And with this thick stuff too, it uh, sometimes kind of hard to cinch down. So I just pull tight and then pull a bit and then pull a bit and work your way down. And then at the end too, if you want to use like a pair of forceps, these work well because you can lock your braid in the forceps and then twist it up. Never do this on your main line. I always just pull the tag. But once your thing's down, you can give the tag a last little snug. And that's perfect. Right there is exactly what you want. Nice crazy Alberto. That's called a crazy Alberto knot. So we have a crazy Alberto knot right here to a figure eight knot right there. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is you can clip your monofilament right up to the knot. Don't nick the knot, but you can clip really close to the knot and then that's clean. And then I leave a little bit for the braid just cause you don't really need to clip it any shorter. The reason that I like this knot is it's super strong. This is actually stronger than tying a Palomar to a swivel, believe it or not. And the other thing too is that little bunch of mono or a little bunch of braid right there around the mono is just enough to float the nose of the leader. So this is my jerkbait leader, neutrally buoyant, no weight there and totally neutrally buoyant. So we're ready to go, catch another big pike.